What's good, y'all? Packers defeat the Vikings today, 24 to 10 at Lambeau. Um, great win by the Packers today. Very, very good win. Um, I think this game, we really need to win this game for a lot of reasons. One, I want, I wanted to win because we've been on a losing streak at home in the playoffs because of those damn Giants. But whatever. You know what I'm saying? We lost two straight home games the way we did. So I wanted to see us at least win our only home game in this playoffs at the moment. It seems it's going to be if we continue going on. But just wanted to see them get a victory at home. You know what I'm saying? And they did that against the Vikings today. And the Packers were able to win this game because... Of once again bad offensive performance by the Vikings. You know, it was kind of like how it was the first time they played. You know, AP, did, you know, AP did his thing the first two games, but he and he he still got his carries and he still got some his yards to this game, but not as obviously. It wasn't as a big deal as it was those first two games. We really did a good job finally containing his ass. Held them under 100 yards, barely 99 yards, but whatever. Um, that was the that was the key thing. Like I said in my last video, you don't stop that one one thing. It's gonna be a long day, and it wasn't a long day, at least not for us. It was a good day. It was nice to see all the Packers fans just jumping up, just pretty much celebrating the victory even before the full quarter started. <laughs> That was funny, but me, being as serious as I was, I was just telling myself, man, this game is not over until it's at 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> but uh, offense looked okay today, for the most part, in the first half anyway, and the beginning of the second. Um, DeJuan Harris had another good game. He ran good, uh, did good with the ball after he made some good catches. And Rodgers made some key throws, and offense looked okay. The offense wasn't great, but offense was okay. Defense is what won the game this time, though. Shout out to the defense. You play, you guys played horrible last week. You really came back this week and toned it up. And this time you played very good. Eric Walden, good game, good performance. I was really liking what he was doing. Clay Matthews doing what he always does. And boy, did we miss Woodson. Charles Woodson, first game back since October. His presence was definitely felt, just like how Clay's presence was felt back in the lineup, back when, you know, we played the Bears the second time. Having everybody out there healthy on the field really makes a difference, and you could just see it. You could just see it. Defense played very good today, though. Hopefully they can keep it up next week. When we, you know, we got to play to see, see it. Damn, Seattle. I'm about to say Seattle, but we got to go to San Francisco next week, and we'll see what the Packers do. We just got to see. Um, what else? What else to say? Um, I know when the Packers, when we went up twenty-four to three, at at when we came right out and scored twenty-four to three, was it? When we came out, I think it was the first drive. Whatever. After we scored twenty-four points, the Packers started playing very conservative. And listen, listen. I have no problem with a team trying to play conservative because when you play conservative, you want to run the ball, take time off the clock. But it was really getting on my nerves because I felt like we started playing conservative way too early. At least in my opinion. We scored again, yes, good, 24-3. But then we, we got the ball back very quickly. We got three straight turnovers and did nothing with it. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just making a big deal out of it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But the way we were playing conservative after we scored 24 points was really, really getting on my nerves. I mean, I was almost about to go nuts because I'm like, if you're going to play conservative, at least get a first down. I mean, we only got one first down after that. After, after we got 24 points, Packers only got one first down. We just went three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out. I'm like, that's how you take time off the clock? And I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, like, we were taking time off the clock. When we were actually driving the ball, not trying to force the run, and and you know not getting anywhere, and next thing you know we're putting the ball right back to him. You know, that's just that's just that's just a little bit that's just a little bit that's not pretty much the only thing that really got on my nerves today. It was just 
we just started playing conservative way too early for my liking. It was just way too early. I would listen. I wanted to keep scoring. Forget all that. The Vikings. It was. <laughs> I wanted to kick their asses. I'm pretty sure all Packers fans wanted that. I wanted to kick their asses. I wanted to score some more. I thought they stopped playing conservative just too early, and they couldn't even get not a single first down even after and when they started. It was really getting to my nerves, though. But uh, other than that, this was a good game. All the same, Packers win. Take care of business. We send the Vikings home, and we got a date with 49ers, a rematch from week one. We'll see if that's going to be any different than from week one, hopefully. And that's it. I'm out. Peace.